So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 21 of our Portsmouth crew mode on the PS4 FIFA 15 and as you can see they were currently sitting in first place uh, five points clear of second and um, we're doing very very well in the league so far and I'm so pleased uh, with the progress of the players as well as well as the the actual style of football we're playing and the style of formation which I do really really enjoy playing with Portsmouth and that is also very very good for you as, as well because then we'll be bringing in the good results. And also, I'm pleased that you guys are watching all the videos and giving me the support. And we did get off to the perfect start here as we got a um, free kick in the 18th minute. I will explain what happened in a minute. Um, but um, as you can see here, we do get a free kick with Westcar from the free kick. Westcar, we decide to take it Westcar. Westcar whips it over the top of the wall and finds the back of it. So we find ourselves 2-0 up. So yeah, um, I will basically, sorry guys, um, I realised that um, after I deleted the actual... Um, episode or from my capture card that I was actually forgot to edit the first goal so the first goal was actually scored from West Kai it was a header but I'm so sorry guys that I just I haven't I didn't include it into the uh, final because I do everything so I do it in the um, the capture studio which is the uh, game capture which is from the Elgato and then you put it into Final Cut but when I exported it out of um, the games capture I actually obviously forgot to put the first goal in, so obviously my fault, and um, once I had already put it into Final Cut Pro, that's when I realised, but then I went back and I deleted it, so basically I'm sorry about that guys, but um, I'll try, obviously I'll try not to help, um, let it happen again, but it is the first time I've actually made a mistake, and uh, basically I just want to say sorry, but um, actually they, they do actually get a goal disallowed, it was a very good goal from them actually, it was a pretty well very not good goal. It was a pretty lucky goal, to be honest. It was a looping deflection. It looped over Ormwick and found the back end, but thankfully, he was actually offside. But we do score our third goal of the um, game here uh, against um, Oxford. It was a good save from the goalkeeper, but Holmes was there to tap the ball in, even though he was under pressure from the goalkeeper getting up and from the centre-back rushing across to try and block the angle. He does do, does do, does do, does do, does do, does do, does do. Uh, they come through, but thankfully they hit the post and somehow the ball ended up in uh, Ormwick's arms before uh, their striker could actually get to it. But the man of the match was Ricky Holmes with an 8.9 man of the match rating. Story, to be honest, didn't play very well, only got a 6.4. But this is our trip to Stamford Bridge. We're going to be playing in the FA Cup round of 16 up against Chelsea. Uh, the quarterfinal, sorry. Because oh, we did do very well in the cup to actually get us. Uh, round of 16. I'm getting confused. Anyway, Chelsea put out an extremely, extremely uh, strong squad. Even though it's not their strongest, they put out a very, very strong squad. They um, they actually have Kurt Zuma at the back, so that was going to be their weak link. But they did have um, a Swarso, Ivanovic, Cahill, Zuma, Luis. Then they have Mikel Ramirez, William, Baker, Sherlin, Costa. So Baker was pretty much not their best player in the world that can actually play there. But I would really like to sign him for me uh, at Portsmouth as well. And we put out our, by far our strongest squad. We had Ormwick, East, Hernandez, who's not been great so far. Winter, Saar, Zog. And then we had uh, Wallace, Baluli, Barcham, Munir and our new signing Yassine Benzia up front. So it's going to be a very difficult game, but uh, hopefully we can try and keep our own. But the first chance does fall to them in the 10th minute. It was a wonderful block from East there, as it was going to be a certain goal. But East managed to block the ball. We do go on counter. Benzia plays the ball here. He plays the ball 1-2 with Munir. Munir plays the ball over the top. As Kurt Zuma gets himself in a little bit of bother. Munir, um, very well, well played ball over the top to Benzia. And Benzia slots the ball into the back of the net in the 13th minute. So somehow... We couldn't believe it. We were somehow winning 1-0 against Chelsea. It was our first chance of the game. The first chance we've got out of our own half. And we scored the goal. It was Benzia from a lovely through ball from Munir. And Benzia slots it past Mark Schwartz at the near post. I thought Courtois probably would have saved that because he was in goal. Actually, there, because he come out and then he come back. And he wasn't sure what to do. So, um, the veteran goalkeeper pretty much should have done better there. But I'm not complaining as we ended up 1-0 uh, up. And actually, there, Baluni and Baker doing some weird... Um, holding hands kind of thing, running at the same time. Lovely celebration there uh, from Yassine Benzia, our new signing, as he could be the next big thing at Portsmouth. And the next chance does come to us. Zog plays the ball to Munir. Munir plays the ball to Benzia. Uh, we do do very well to play the ball back to uh, Benzia. Benzia picks up the ball. He beats uh, Zuma and finds the back of the net with his left foot. And it was absolutely wonderful finish there. Past Swartz. Uh, Swartz didn't even attempt to dive. Uh, he wasn't getting nowhere near it. And somehow we found ourselves 2-0 up against Chelsea. And I think it was because Chelsea were just out sleeping. They were sleeping. They was did not come out 
um, blaze in which they normally do, as I expected them to. And we just had two chances and finished both chances with Benzia. Benzia had two very, very good goals. And um, hopefully we now we're going to try and park the bus at the back just to try and um, get this win. Because if we get this win, it would be incredible for us actually to go through to actually have on our records in the first season to beat someone like Chelsea, it'd be incredible. But unfortunately, Mikel plays the ball to Costa. Costa does very well, and Costa finds the back of the net in the 30th minute. So they now have the upper hand, as they now got um, within one goal uh, distance of our uh, score now. And it is Chelsea, in all, in all aspects. Diego Costa, a, a massive, massive signing for him. And Diego Costa does strike again here. Mikel plays the ball to William. William whips the ball in the box. It does come to Costa. Costa climbs higher than both Azog and um, Winter. And unfortunately, he does find the back end in the 67th minute. And let's see that Costa does celebrate like a madman because otherwise they would have been knocked out of the cup. But I'm just so pleased that we managed to give him a really, really hard game. And uh, hopefully we can just hang on now until um, to try and get a replay at our place, which would be brilliant. But in the last few minutes, uh, the ball does come to Zuma. Zuma plays the ball to Benzia by accident, obviously. Benzia plays the ball to uh, Munir. Munir has a shot and it comes off the outside of the post. And we come so close to snatching it right at the very end. And as you see, that was a good header from Munir. But Swartz made a good save. So a little bit disappointing to be honest that Munir didn't put that one away. I would have preferred the ball to be at Benzia's feet. But unfortunately, it wasn't to happen. But I was so pleased that we managed to get a historic 2 all draw at Stamford Bridge. To actually come away from Stamford Bridge and get a good result is really, really good. Whatever team you're playing with, especially when you're playing with a League 2 team, it's just it's not something that I was thinking I was going to do at the start of this game. But the next game was in the League. It was third against first, obviously us being in first. And um, a very, very good um, atmosphere at the um, stadium here. But I think we could come out on top against Northampton as we've just come off with a very, very good result up against Chelsea. And um, basically, because we do that, I believe in momentum in View 15. I don't know whether you guys believe in it or not. Let me know in the comments down below if you do believe in the momentum thing. But I actually believe that if you're on a winning strike or winning streak, you have more probability of winning the next game. It's just something that I believe in. But Holland scores an absolute cracker of a goal here. From outside the box, he hits it and he fires it past a Northampton goalkeeper in the 40th minute. And um, that was pretty much the first chance of the game. There was nothing really happening in the game. We were pretty much, it was pretty much all in midfield. Nothing really was happening. But Holland's picked up the ball and an absolutely wonderful strike there out of the reach of the goalkeeper. And uh, Holland's picked up one of his first goals for the club. I know he has scored before from headers, etc. But one of his first goals from outside the box, and he scored three goals for us, which isn't bad. But um, as you hear, a little bit of um, anger between the two players, but they do get good chance. Collins steps over the ball for Northampton. He strikes and he hits the underside of the crossbar, and we do then manage to clear the ball, so they come extremely close there. But in the 75th minute, they get another good chance. Mohamed plays the ball to forward. Forward does very, very well to actually take on uh, Holland, they whip the ball in the box, they should be scoring from there, it was a free header, but thankfully he does put the ball over the box, over the bar, sorry, and we do get the last chance of the game in the 83rd minute, the ball gets played to Story. Story plays the ball over the top to Cradock, Cradock wins the ball, uh, it comes to Holmes, Holmes plays a lovely ball over the top, it was Cradock, one on the goalkeeper, and Cradock slots it into the back of the net, so that was how the game finished, and we do get another three points to add on to our league tally so far this season. So we're now going to be approaching the end of this episode. I really, really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below as it is very, very much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time very, very soon for the next episode of our Portsmouth Creamer, which will be episode number 22. Thank you and bye-bye.